everybody, this is John with the Gloucester Library, and today we're going to draw a fun picture for Earth Day. So today I'm going to draw um, the planet Earth, the bottom, and have a tree sprouting out the top. So when you're uh, drawing this one, try to make sure you leave enough space uh, for your planet Earth and a tree to fit on top. So I'm going to start with the planet Earth. And I'm going to draw a circle and kind of leave the circle open a little bit on top so that I have a place for my tree to grow out. And let me just show you. So I'm going to start with this circle. And just do your best. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle. There we go. And now I'm going to have the tree sprouting at the top. So I'm going to start with uh, the roots and the tree trunk. Maybe do a branch coming out here. Maybe a little branch coming off of that one. And I'll have it come up a little bit more here have my trunk kind of end there like a little branch coming off of that and have it come down back to the planet earth and I'm going to do one more branch coming out from behind the tree so you can see how the line of the trunk is covering it up and maybe have a couple more branches coming off of that you can add as many little branches as you want. Now I'm going to add the um, roots of the tree at the bottom here. And I'm not going to have them go too far down into my planet, but just enough just to show that it's uh, growing out of the earth here. So I'll draw like a little root here in the middle, like another one here on the left. I'm going to bring my line from my circle of my earth up here. Just so it looks like this root is going behind the earth. I think I'll do the same thing for this one. There we go. And now I'm going to add a little bit of, you know, some thin lines to the trunk to add like the texture of the bark just a little bit. All right. Now I'm going to add uh, some leaves and I'm going to use little like U shapes to form the leaves. So I'm going to start by showing where the leaves overlap my little branches here. So I'm going to do some U-shapes there, and some little U-shapes where all my branches end. All right, and I'm going to use the same little U-shapes to form the outside of my tree. So I'm going to start here at the top. This is going to be a bushy tree. You see how I'm kind of going all the way down past these branches and into the middle of the trunk a little bit just to make it like a full looking tree rather than having all the leaves end up top here. Let me go up here and fill out this side. You notice um, you don't have to make all the U shapes the same size. You could have like some littler ones and some bigger ones give you like a little bit of variety in the, you know, how the leaves show up on there, like whether they're closer or farther away, it gives a, you know, a little bit more of a impression of different sized leaves there. Now, if you want, you can also go back in and add some more little uh, U shapes to form where, you know, tufts of leaves on branches are coming out, just to show you, like say, A little bit here. 
some there. Maybe a little bit on the bottom there. There we go. Just give it a little bit more, you know, looking like there's more leaves bunched up there. Now I'm going to move on to the planet Earth, and I'm going to draw some of the continents. You can draw them um, however you like. You can try to use a, a globe or a, a map of the Earth as a reference, and you know try to make them look as real as you you and close to the real thing as you like. Or you can just play and have fun, get them close to what you know you, they look like. Um, you can even make it, you know any sort of like uh, land body shape that you want. So let me just start some here. All right, so I got some continents over here. Island up there. Draw another continent over here. All right, so I was trying to do like North America and South America and you know Europe and, and Africa and you know, but they're not they're not perfect, but they give you like the impression of the the different land masses there on the earth. All right, now once you've got that drawn, if you've got a way to um, color you know crayons, color pencils, markers. Uh, whatever you might have, you can go in and add some color to this. So I'm going to start with um, my tree. I'm going to do some leaves. So I'm going to pick a shade of green that I think looks nice and leafy. Start filling in with that. All right, now I'm going to add some brown for my tree trunk. I'm going to find a brown shade that I like. All right, and let's color in our tree trunk. Now I'm going to color in the branches too. All right. Now I'm going to color in blue for the oceans and other bodies of water. All right, now I'm going to do another shade of green, or the same one if you like, for the continents and the land masses on there. Alright, now if you have um, like darker shades of uh, the greens, the brown, the blue, you can add some shading. Um, if you want to experiment, you can also lightly shade with uh, black colored pencils or crayons to add some shadows. So I'm going to pick uh, a darker green for my, the leaves on my tree. I'm going to use that to add some shading. So, of course, most of my shading is going to be on the bottom of the tree. So, we're going to have the light source coming from the top. So, it be like the sun is up here, shining down on it. And then once you've added some shading for your leaves, you can also do the same for your trunk. Find a darker shade of brown. 
or experiment with black if if you like the way it turned out for your leaves you can use black too just remember to go lightly on there all right now i'm going to also add some shading to my continents just a little bit on the bottom Right, and a little bit of shading for the water. And put a little bit underneath the um, tree here too, so it looks like the tree is casting a shadow on our planet Earth. Alright, there we go. And there's our little Earth Day picture. Um, hope you had fun, and I'll see you again next time.